Hey everyone, how's it going? It's pretty good down this end. I'm very excited because today I'm making my 12th video. Yay! Yep, the big one two. Who knew I could make it this far? But I did. I think it's because, like the order, I'm persistent. Now, if we consider my last 11 videos, they have been jam-packed with fun-filled adventure and loads of information. So, unfortunately, today's video is a filler video. Shh, can you hear that? It's the sound of disappointment. Sorry guys, but I can't give you good stuff all the time. Because Lonely Girl 15 has so many filler videos, I did a little research and worked out the necessary aspects for a good filler video. Yeah, good filler video. Bit of a paradox, right? So there are certain things a filler video must contain. contain. I wrote them down. Number one, previous video recap. A filler video tends to rehash over things which occurred in past videos, followed up by some mild complaint by the blogger who wishes things could be different. This provides very little new information and serves to waste the viewer's time. Okay, I can do that. Hollywood bad, crazy strange accent, new girl challenge, science proves nothing, science is good. All Hollywood's fault. The order killed my guppy. Are you freaking kidding me? Up a dialogue. Donors! Something's happening on the comments board. I had to pick an accent. Jamaican. Call me! A little too much to handle. Cause it's Jamaican me crazy. For all you non-believers out there, I've got an interview. He's got commitment issues. I know Anokian. I told you. Taken over by some kind of power. So hot right now. So hot right now. It's so hot right now. So hot right now. So hot right now. It's so hot right now. I'm so hot right now. Pointless video recap? Check. Okay. Number two. Annoying musical montage of random footage. The blogger performs one or many random talents, which are spliced together with music and or sound effects. This results in the viewer having a song stuck in their head that they've never ever heard of for hours afterwards. That shouldn't be a problem. Number three, ominous future plan. Some fillers tend to show the blogger considering the future actions that they will take. The only catch is that the viewer can see numerous bad omens associated with these actions, which are sure to come back and bite the blogger in the butt. Hmm, what's the thing I can do in the future that is bound to have bad re repercussions? The party, of course. So I have decided to go. And I'm actually going as Bonnie out of Bonnie and Clyde. Party tonight. I guess I'm just going to get ready. Of course, there's probably going to be some bad omens somewhere in my preparation. It's kind of like one of those spot the difference things. See if you can figure out where I've gone wrong. So step one in becoming Bonnie, hair. Okay, step one, complete. Now we all know that those associated with the order, especially women, have straight hair, but I fixed that. Ta-da! Yep. Curls make the girl, as they say. They definitely won't suspect me with my hair looking like this. Okay, step two, wardrobe. So there's lots of bad omens associated with wearing particular things in Lonely Girl. Whatever. I'm going to wear something that looks totally cool and is totally safe. <laughs> Important to any disguise, 
fake camouflage. You never know who could be watching. Okay, sorry about that. It takes a long time to disguise this face. Hair, wardrobe, makeup. Ain't no way the order's gonna find me. Plus I'm wearing my lucky hat and black. So off to have fun. Bye.